five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff of Discovery and the Ulysses spacecraft bound for the polar regions of the sun. It was a dawn launch and it was uh, quite spectacular. ESA built the spacecraft. The operations have been um, performed jointly by both an ESA team uh, and a JPL team working at JPL. The sun has a big effect on space, including Earth. And it's our, the star that's nearest to us. Ulysses is a mission that is very unique and that is exploring the sun's atmosphere at all latitudes. It'd be very important to see what's going on in the third dimension and in, in particular over the poles of the sun. We've learned about the sun's magnetic field, how it influences the origin of the solar wind and its subsequent evolution. We've learned about how the sun accelerates particles. We were able to see that those particles are able to essentially access all regions surrounding the sun and the way in which it creates this heliosphere and interacts with interstellar matter coming in. Some of the discoveries that we really uh, didn't anticipate, one of them was the comet tails. We were quite surprised. We knew that there was a huge comet out there called Yukataki. And uh, we didn't go anywhere near that comet, but oh, to our great surprise, we ended up passing through the tail of the comet. But nobody anticipated how long they could be. They stretched from uh, out further than the distance from the sun to the earth. And that was why we were able to pass through the tail. Ulysses was definitely worth it. Uh, it was a small spacecraft. It was a very inexpensive mission. Uh, it had a small operating team, and it returned a tremendous amount of data, uh, new discoveries uh, of the sun in the heliosphere, things that never would have been known had we not flown a mission like Ulysses over the poles of the sun. Given that the scientific data that has been returned from Ulysses over the course of the mission uh, is going to be used for decades to come. Um, it is also a, a, a moment of great pride for, for all of the team. So I was the first person to be assigned to the mission from, by NASA and by JPL. And I've been with it this whole time. And uh, so it's been 30 years, a big part of my career. I've been doing other things as well, but this has been uh, an exceptional opportunity. and. Uh, my plan is to continue on until the end of the mission, and I expect to be the last person to be here, and I'm gonna turn off the lights. <laughs>